Welcome back to C3PO show. We are now into our linebacking core. Before we get into guys that are in the free agency or coming up in the draft, who do you think that we're going to hang on to? Who do you think we'll let go of this? Season? I definitely think we're going to have to get rid of Bobby Wagner. Struggled all year long. <laughs> it's just funny. Um, yeah, Bobby Wagner, he's uh, arguably the best middle linebacker, and he's one of those guys that I want you – um to appreciate at this point you know it's not often that you have the best middle linebacker in the league on your team uh so it kind of like russ as your church says in russ we trust we also love bobby and he's doing amazing things so um just enjoy it enjoy the ride uh and on the outside at the wheel linebacker spot we have mr kj wright uh spider-man himself just locking guys up getting <laughs> shoot it out <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so uh, but but we have Mike Morgan as a Sam linebacker, and uh, needless to say, I just don't think he's the right fit for the Seahawks. Maybe a good backup guy, but um, there's there's a definitely a need at the Sam linebacker position. Uh, before we had uh, both Malcolm Smith and Bruce Irvin at that position, both helped our team tremendously. Uh, so going into this year, I think that's that's the opening that we're looking to fill. Yeah. So do you see any of these guys in free agency that could possibly fill those roles? Um, yeah, I think that there's there's a couple of guys out there that would be nice to get. Um, I think yes, Dante Hightower. And I think that it's time to make a splash. If, if the Seahawks are always looking to make that one splash in free agency. And I think that this could be the perfect spot to do it. Uh, you have a guy in Chandler Jones that is just a disruptor. Uh, the Cardinals. Uh, had to give up uh, uh, some draft stock uh, in order to get Chandler Jones. And I think it would be a crushing defeat uh, to your in division, like not really rivals, but opponents. <laughs> um, and so uh, they, they tied you one, us one time this year, and they also got a win in Seattle. So uh, looking to take something away from them. And I think Chandler Jones is that guy's special, special player. He's got 11 sacks, 49 tackles this year four forced fumbles, and if they're looking to make their big move, I think this is the big move that they need to make. How about you? You seen anybody? Yeah, I really like Melvin Ingram. Unfortunately, he had one of those career career years, and uh, I don't think that John and Pete are, are guys to pay for career years. And uh, Not that he's not a good player. I think Melvin Ingram would be a perfect fit. Uh, heavy hitter coming into his own in the league is, is a young guy and, and would fill that position perfectly, but I think right now, his asking price is probably a little too high. He had, and you know, kudos to him. But uh, it just doesn't. I don't feel like he would fit that Seahawks mold. So uh, I, I was also looking, and I think somebody more realistic, I guess, would be Lawrence Timmons. Uh, somebody coming out of a Mike Tomlin team, uh, Steeler. Although you know, Seahawks fans feel some sort of way about Steelers one way or another. I think they're adding him, uh, a veteran guy, to to help out. Uh, you know, Bobby and, and KJ, who saw a ton, a ton of plays last year, I think over a thousand plays uh, a piece. And, uh, you know, to add him into the mix to either relieve one of them or to, you know, just add another dominant force uh, to the linebacking core would be would be pivotal. So uh, Melvin Ingram, if we could get him for a decent price, although I don't think that we will. I'm sure the Jags or somebody will overpay him. And uh, I would really like to see Lawrence Timmons get a, get a shot. Uh, in a Seahawks uniform. So those are my two my two guys that I want to watch out for uh, with free agency coming up. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it, I definitely think it's going to be tough, though, for us to get a free agent linebacker. Um, I just don't see – I think Pete, that's one of his positions where he kind of sees his guy, you know. It's either he's going to draft him and mold him or, you know, I, I just don't see him going really diving into free agency for that. But, like I said, if they do, I think making the big splash. Why mm -hmm. not? Right. You know, pay the big money. We like our def we like to pay money on the defense. Chandler Jones is gonna be that guy for you. Uh, pass rush, coverage, all of it. He's five tool player, as they would say in baseball. Yeah, uh, <laughs> talking about five tools and things that to deal with college. Do you see us, the Seahawks, filling that role with any of the any of the upcoming guys? Yeah, actually, going into uh, the NCAA championship, the four round playoff. Uh, I mean, I really couldn't think of anybody. Um, but after watching them destroy UW, uh, there was a clinching play in that game, a game that kind of decided the – ended the fate. 
as you will, at the end of the half for the Huskies. And that was Ryan Anderson got a huge pick on Jake Browning, pick six. He stiff-armed the receiver to the ground and then just jogged into the end zone uh, to take the lead or to con- build on top of the lead and just run away from it from there. Uh, he also had a huge couple of huge plays in the NCAA championship, had a forced fumble with the forced recovery, and then also had another forced fumble. He just seems like a disruptor. And that's um, uh, as Pete, uh, or not Pete, but over on Montlake, they call it. Our top of guys. So we're going to give him the OTG stamp, mm-hmm. stamp him up with that OTG. Uh, I think he's an OTG. I think he just he's a disruptor, and Pete loves his disruptors. Uh, so he – he can come in. He can play the outside linebacker. He also can rush, and he's a little bit undersized, which, you know, I, I feel like we don't mind at times. We like that heart, that 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 want to, that grit, that will. So I think he possesses everything that you kind of want in a Seahawk. I love football. How, how about you? Anybody you seeing out there that that could fill that need? Yeah, I saw two guys. Uh, Zach Cunningham uh, from Vanderbilt. When, when, although when I was watching his his film, it didn't really impress me. Yeah. He was one of those guys that was a sure tackler, but but didn't really create uh, you know big plays. You know when I watch guys like Jabril Peppers, uh, I expect big plays. You know game changing plays. And watching this guy, it was it was more like yeah you're gonna make the tackle, but uh, you weren't gonna make a huge play. So that was something that I was like eh. it's also about on him. And then T.J. Watt, J.J.'s little brother. Uh, dominated the competition. We had that lateral speed that you like to see out there. Uh, can cover. Uh, I'm I'm sure that you know he's not going to be able to cover Odell and things like that. But you know those those slot corner or those slot receivers and, and maybe even some of those twos uh, or in fours. He he can get out and cover. Has has some decent speed and can get into the backfield. Uh, isn't going to get run over. Isn't going to get trucked. And then you know if he has any sort of or, or work ethic the, the same as JJ, his older brother, does, then I, I can't see how you couldn't like uh, one of the Watts. And uh, I, I don't think that it would it would take too much. It wouldn't be too expensive. And it's something that we need. Pete talked about it in his uh, exiting uh, interview that, that it was something that he wanted to address, that, that third linebacker position. And I think Watt uh, or even Cunningham could fill that role and, and uh, not cost us too much money as we chase one of those those veteran free agents. Absolutely. And if you're looking to please help us, if there's anybody from your hometown who you think could help the Seattle Seahawks in this coming up draft, or if there's even a free agent out there that you think that we missed out, that, that you could see that we could get in here for an affordable price or one that maybe even you would like to overpay for, let us know. Uh, comment in the sections below or in the section below and uh, give us a subscribe and like. And anything else you want to add about these linebacker group this year? That's it. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Peace.